Hello everyone, this is Swarmlord39 of Almost Cool. I am back with another episode of Subnautica. And today, it's a spe little bit of a special episode. I, With me, I have my good friend. If you've watched our uh, Stellar streams, you might have seen him pop in from time to time. It is my good friend, Sean. Go. And he's... And I and I have him uh, watching my my Subnautica playthrough. He'll be a few seconds behind since it's through Steam, but figured since I didn't have much time to uh, do recordings this week for my uh, n next episode, I figured it'd be it'd be a little bit of an interesting thing. So, for those of you who want to be caught up, and I mean Sean, last time uh, we built up our little base. We managed to throw everything into into the lockers, and... Not get eaten? Yes, we did not get eaten either. Also managed to build the radiation suit, allowing us to go to the Aurora if we so choose. That said, still don't want to go until I, until I get a laser cutter, which apparently in this latest update needs blueprints. I, oh boy. And I have, since I've been trying to avoid the wiki more often than not, I have no idea where to find them. So, in the meantime, I will be poking about trying to find other blueprints and whatnot. Um, so, trying to avoid going too close to the Aurora. Uh, let me start heading off to try to find another wreck to scan. Because finding wrecks is going to be important. I have a question. Yes. I think I can help you find the blueprints, but okay. Well, how important is the laser cutter for a game? Is it really important you need it early on or um, it's mostly, it will be important because there are some rooms you can't access, there will be a few rooms that we cannot access without the laser cutter. Um, oh, frick, what the, what attack? What? what hit me? What hit me? Oh, you freaking little, come here, come here, come here. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that was my first biter. Ah. Uh. Oh, hello. Why do I... What? Um... Yeah, I see. Yeah, I am a few seconds behind you. Do I? Anyway, okay. on the, uh... On the, uh, thing, I was thinking, so, where would you find things if it's only important? So you would probably find it before you go to the Aurora. Yes, I really want to find it before I go to the Aurora, because, again, it's going to be one of those things where there are... There is... A, there are some very important, um, items that I can only get behind... A, Behind a um, a one of those locked um, one of those steel doors and short range scans suggest this bio supports extension. Well, then you should be at, oh, show. Correct. There's a good chance that you would find it before you go to the Aurora. So where would the blueprint? Where would you go before you go to the Aurora to get the radiation suit blueprint? Because that's um, probably where you'll find. The radiation it. suit blueprint spawns automatically after the Aurora explodes. 30 seconds. And oh, so you get it automatically. Yeah. This... Alright. I... Uh, I'm also going to try something on this episode because... Um, I re Because of how deep it's starting... Uh, we're going to be needing to um, get to some of these uh, wrecks over here in the... Um, in the dunes. I, that's, that's not dunes. Uh, oh, I can't remember the name. Can't remember safe the Shallow? Name. No, it's not the Safe Shallows. It's not the Kelp Forest. It's the uh, one... The biome with the red with the red grass and the sand sharks. Oh, the uh, I think it was the Red Sea or something like that. It's been a while since I've watched anything or done anything with Subnautica. Yeah, so I need to I need to set up a way to get oxygen farther down. I have I I want I'll need to try it out. I need a no that's that's why not it mm. no there it is floating pump oh that's actually really cheap. Maybe you can find the blueprint in the red that red sands area. I'll just five, six, ah, 12, 14, 14, 15. Uh, there we go. Let's go ahead. I want to turn the battery off. Why? I mean, not the battery off, the uh, light off. What? Um, floating air pump. Pipe. Pipe. And pipe. And more pipe. There we go. Hopefully, hopefully, this will allow me to um, dive down further and not have a moment where I end up uh, 
dying because of oxygen loss. Taking on the uh, thing, the uh, item, there's a good chance it could be found in that red kelp forest or the kelp forest itself. It could be. I again, I'd have to go searching, and <laughs> I I have as the viewers have. You might want to get a theme off before you do that. Yeah, basically, that's one of the things I'd like to get before I really go searching in various wrecks and whatnot in the kelp forest because it will actually protect me from threshers. Um, yeah. I think I've been. Yeah. Okay. This is this should be relatively safe. Just sand shark problems. Sand shark, so sand shark, so small and scary and scary. <laughs> yeah, see, I barely got down here and I'm already having oxygen problems. Hmm. Ah, uh, one of the. What killed these white fins? Ooh, that's, that'll be nice. I know, I know, I'm heading to the surface now. Oxygen. Oh. Okay. Let's see, what do I need for those? Do I can I make them with the fabricator? Nope, modification station. Crap. Okay, anyway. So it was there's the wreckage right there. Uh hmm, this might actually be harder than I thought because I don't want to reef back breaking it. Um, but ugh, this is still getting a little bit too close to the Aurora. I don't know how close to the Aurora before I start encountering reefers. And that is something I've really And radiation. Well, I've got a radiation suit on, I'm fine with that. Okay. Uh, drop that. No, don't drop it. Ah, uh, frick. I gotta put it into, uh, fine slot. Fine slot. Release. 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 <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um. <laughs> I just watched that a whole thing. Wow, it can go quite deep. So, pipe. Click. Okay, right click. That's. This is the most interesting way I have seen everyone, anyone has solved a simple problem. And I think I'll call it here because I don't want to use too much. Bioreactor, nice. Whoa, that was a little too close. Luckily, I know I won't die in one shot from that. Ooh, Seamoth Fragment, nice. I just need the mobile vehicle pay to do this. Uh, okay. Uh, 30 seconds. Another Seamoth Fragment. Nice. Two of three. Ooh, another Bioreactor Fragment. Is that a Seamoth Fragment right there? Is that a Bioreactor? That's a Bioreactor. It's in here. This goes nowhere. How far away are you from farming? From what? Farming. Uh, I know where to get the farming stuff. Um, I just... It's one of those moments where it's like where it's uh, how far how far away and how potentially difficult it will be to get to that stuff without dying. Then we got reapers. Yep. Either that or a ghost leviathan, depending on the direction I go. So happy fun time. Yes. Thirty seconds. Yeah, ghost leviathans are uh, called nope. We're going to refer to them as nopes in all further discussions. Okay, there was a sand shark that was start. Is that? Okay, he's not coming after me anymore. Um, it doesn't look like there's any more sea moth pieces here. So I'm gonna start picking up these um pipes. You can see how haphazardly I put them down. 
on the, on the plus side, this is this was a this this way I got to stay down a lot farther down a lot longer. It was a good plan. Yep. Now I just need to find. Game needs co-op. Oh uh, yes. Yeah, speaking. So about that, there is. I have mentioned it to Sean here, here, but for you guys at home. Um, there is actually a, um, co-op... Ooh, Seamoth Fragment, perfect! <laughs> Ooh, shiny! Um, yeah, but there is actually a co-op mod in the making. Um, and it is really... It is really, um... It is actually fairly far along. It's just, you know, that it need, the game needs to finish up before the mod can be finished up. And when that game mod comes out, I will buy this game so we can play co-op. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be very interesting to be able to play to be able to play this co-op and not have to deal with all the problems. Their own. We could actually use steam moth torpedoes. Boop. Okay, into here. And a cyclops to load the torpedoes. Oh, hey, I can actually get a compass on my HUD. New blueprint acquired. Which is. Which is nice, even if not uber necessary. Okay, let's get out. It's a, it's a life, uh, it's a life comfort thing. Yeah. Well, I get the feeling. Uh, did they shoot the poor little uh, escape pods? What? These escape pods have a giant blast in the hole in each one of them. Uh, I don't we'll find, we will find out about that as the as the game progresses. It is it is addressed and it is um, just a tad bit on the terrifying side, like most parts of Subnautica. Ooh, a lot of fish. I need water. I'm getting close to it. I'm running a little low on water, so and because I always like having a nice um, backup amount. Where did it go? There you are, you cheeky bugger, and I still missed you. Okay. Oh, over here. Excuse me, pardon me, don't. And they're trying to kill me. As with all things in Subnautica, it's a beautiful game, but let much but ask any person who's lived by the sea for any amount of time. <laughs> hmm. I talked about ask them about the sea's compassion. Oh hey, um I I think I could make this. I didn't even think I could, maybe, or at the very least, I could probably make it soon. Um, maybe I should get a bigger, uh, I think I'm going to aim to get, try to get a bigger air tank. Before, that would um, be good. Before continuing on, because, um, I need more water. Um, because, and we'll store all this stuff in locker, because... We're going to be going out and about and doing who knows what. I don't want to risk losing it. Um, I need more. Food. I need something. Yeah, let me see if I've got... Do I have silver? I have don't. I have I have nutrient blocks, but I don't have much else besides said nutrient blocks. Um, I have a quartz. Do I have more quartz? I don't have anything in there. I need quartz and a silver. And... Uh, don't shed the money, I need silver. Three, I need three quart. I need three more quartz to make two, the, the two glass, and I need to find a silver ore, which unfortunately cannot be found in safe shallows. Where do you find silver? Um, well, the, the easy, the first, the well, first place that they start um jumping in is in the um, kelp forest. Oh, the fun place with all the sharks. Pretty much. I'm just nabbing. You fish. got this. You won't get horrifically eaten. You totally will. <laughs> I just need some food. Come, come here. Come here. Come here. Let me... Thank you. Okay. You do not eat the bubble fish. That's water. You yeah, no. I know that. But I, I need some. I need more for water, and I need some, and I need some regular fish for food. For peeper, peeper, peeper. Got one. Okay. Um, 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 um. Mm. Smoked fish. All you need is some salt. And I'm going the wrong way again. How do I keep doing that? And you'd have some really good fish. Oh, and deadly bacterial virus. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Any over the kelp. Out into the kelp forest. Where I have to deal with rushers. Speaking of which. They're not Reaper of the Viathans. That is true. That is very true. I also have to be careful, though, of running into a Mesmer out here. It is possible, though it is... Rare. Yes. What do Mesmer do? I do know they cause you to go... Yes, there are problems... There can be problems with them. Namely, um, you they will, like, try to, um... In... There we go. Yeah, they'll do bad things to me. Yeah. Well, they. Tr it, it's actually hard to get away from them. Integrate the new EDA data. Um, it said that that I didn't need to come over here. That the Seamoth Bay collapsed around them. This doesn't look like a Seamoth Bay. There is no Seamoth Bay right here. Oh, there's the Seamoth what? Bay. That's actually what? that's actually something I've been needing to find. The Seamoth Bay is actually. A very decent place to get stuff. I think if I get the Seamoth Bay actually has the stuff for me to um, ma to make the uh, vehicle, uh, the mobile vehicle bay. But for now, I need to go back to finding the. Um... Oh, it's getting dark. I get the feeling you don't want to be out here at night. Nope. Especially, especially not hunting for um, stuff in the kelp forest because threshers get more aggressive at night. Oh, but there, are there any nopes that come by? Not Reaper Leviathan's nopes. No, um, that sort, that sort of thing. There's still, there's still, you know, by, um, placed in biomes and whatnot. So if, so if I, um, so I, so I don't actually have to worry so much, as long as you know. About like, nopes. Like to oh, quartz. Okay, I need two more quartz. All quartz. I need two more quartz, and I need to find a silver. There's another quartz. And then I need... To... And one last quartz. Perfect. Another I would quartz. help you find this stuff, but I'm a couple seconds behind you. I mean, you could point out if I miss something. I'll, I'll, I'm giving an eye out. So far, though, you seem to be on top of things. I mean, this is a game where you really have to keep your surroundings. Uh, an eye on your surroundings. Both or you get hit by a nope. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I've seen a few. Can you use the bubbles to breathe, get oxygen? Actually, yes. If you wait a few seconds. Huh. That plant is good. We can let it live after we cleanse this planet. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna head into my my little home away from home and start making some food and water. So when does this game finish off? Um, you mean Subnautica? Yeah. When did they finally say they're gonna remove it out of early access? Once, well, once they actually finish the storyline and all that, which is gonna, t which is still, decent, which is still, they've still gotta actually make a way to get off planet. I mean, they have, the, they've had it, they've had parts of it in experimental for a while, so it's not like, it's not like that. Um. They don't know where they're going with it. Just um, they actually have, they just haven't gotten there yet. Okay. Got it. I do have. I can make the sea moth, which actually I can make. Which is not that hard to make. I just it's just I need the mobile vehicle bay to get it. Um, propulsion cannon. Do I not? Why do I have the why? Uh, never mind. Um, right here we go. Here's what I was looking for. I need. I still just need the silver ore. I, it's all raw materials that I've already got. I just need the sil I just need the stinking silver ore. Um, let's see what else I might have. What else is there? Plasteel ingots. Why do I know about plasteel ingots? I shouldn't. I, I have I gotten a lithium? That it, I can also make bioreactors now, which is which are neat, but I have no place to put them because I don't have a room big enough in my uh, blueprint thing yet. Do you have to go to one of the islands to get the bigger rooms? Yes, or find a sea base, or find an un underwater sea base, most of which have deadly predators around. Basically, like that crabfish, but they have that amazing saw. The crab into snakes into the unknown. Yeah. Yeah, the crab snakes. They are 
They're quite I call them spider snakes in my mind because they don't look less like crabs and more like giant spiders heads fused to a snake body. They're not nope enough though. Oh! I guess I was a little too close to you. Sorry. That moment I thought was... you were going to go outside at night. Um, Going outside in the safe shallows is relatively fine. It's just going out into the kelp forest is the problem. Going out, going out, out anywhere outside the safe shallows is is my is my is my note. Because uh, well, you have the Reaper Leviathans and Ghost Leviathans and Ghost Leviathans. Lots, lots of, lots of dangerous creatures and whatnot. And while there are dangerous, cre well, there even are dangerous creatures in the safe shallows. They give relatively plenty of warning. Um, you don't have to worry. They're friendly, dangerous creatures. Ah, here's the place I think I'm, I think I know, knew about. I'm just keeping an eye out for crash, for any crash fish. Uh, gold oh, bomb. and silver. Perfect. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here and get some, and get some air. I do not. Ports. Oxygen. Oh. Alrighty, All right. I can now up, I can now go and upgrade my uh, tank, and we can and help keep me, which will help keep me underwater longer, which is really good. And then I can also get those um, pipes, and I can actually see about going inside that um, that Seamoth Bay wreck from earlier. Uh, okay, I needed four titanium, open locker. I needed two of the glass. One, two, three, four. I can throw this gold in there, and I need to take off my tank. There we go. Fabricator, personal equipment, high capacity O2 tank. And let's see, it goes from 75 to, oh yes, 135, an extra extra full minute underwater. Which is very, very nice. Okay, I put them in here, didn't I? Yeah. So nabbing all the pipes and air pump. And I think this trip over to the, um, where is it? There we go, this way. Over towards the Seamoth Bay. We'll go to the Seamoth Bay, start start exploring in there. This, honestly, starting exploring wrecks like the Seamoth Bay is usually where in my previous single player ones, I would just, I would just give up and switch over to creative mode from there because it's so maze-like in there, in some of them. And when you don't have a lot of time, it gets a pain in the butt. That'd be a, that would make multiplayer so much more useful. You have one person set up a pipe system, and the other person go explore. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's not. I mean, it, it, even the um, the closest way I found to actually surviving well in there was parking a sea moth outside the area. But then you still had to find your way out of it before. This is what. This is why I'm hoping that the. Um, that the pipe system I've got is large enough to actually get down into the um, into the bay, which is right there. Let's okay, plenty far away from the aurora, so I don't have to worry about a massive reaper leviathans popping out of nowhere. Um, you mean your big friends, the C S S R? Yeah. They're not that bad. I I would say the dragon leviathans are more the sea satans. Uh, the problem with that is that um, the dragon, the dragon leviathan, is only found in a few specific areas. Which, and it breathes fire. Well, yeah, but I mean, I, but I mean, the point of it being that it's you know it's not really around for uh, most of for most of the game. It's not really in a place that you could stumble into easily. You know. It's it's in an area that you know there's going to be problems in there anyway. Yeah, this is true. It's more of I was making reference to the fact that Dragon in the West generally can also be used as another name for the devil. Fair enough. Um, see, where's the entrance? The entrance is the entrance up here, I think. Oh, there's the entrance. This is the Seamoth Bay? This is, we are entering into the Seamoth Bay. So were they planning on landing this ship on the planet? Nope. 
It was then why do they have a sea moth bay? Because it's, a, it's an exploratory vessel. Ah. So this planet, getting shot at this planet was completely on accident. Oh, yes, entirely so. So the aliens accidentally oops Ooh, when they yes, shot your yes, ship down. Yes, that is a very nice thing to find. The swivel chair? No, that a little bit later. I found I found parts for the mobile mobile vehicle bay and the battery charger. Oh, that would be useful. They are very useful. Uh, so, for what I'm gathering, our uh, space friends um, made an oops when they shot down your ship. Uh, I mean the people who the people who uh, made made the gun that that shot us down. Which, yeah. Sorry, guys. I have a good chance that you would have never landed on the planet if they didn't shoot your ship. Oh, yeah, but the problem was that they were planning on sending people down to the planet anyway. Ah, yeah, that's a no no. Yeah. That is a no no. For reasons that we have not. Yeah, they were probably in the right shooting your ship down, as depressing as that is. Yeah, it's one of those. Well, ooh, still suit fragment. That's nice. Bitch. Yeah, this is usually the point where I would. Well, this, if I got this far in, usually I would, um, I would start to die. Laser cutter fragment. Yes. You now know where they are. Ensure against dehydration and eventual death. Okay, let's go back and get some air. Oh, but yeah, this is. Oh, this is this is so much better. I, I this is I mean this just goes to show how well I actually planned out in my previous single players. Basically not at all. Hey, there's nothing wrong with just winging it. It's more fun that way when everything sets on bursts into flames. You never played Dwarf Fortress? I have. Then you know what I'm talking about! Oh, oh wait, that's another one. That's I have found two of the three fragments I need for the laser cutter already. Which is nice. Um, is there more? Hello. I mean, way more still suit fragments than I need, but hey, I, at the at, it, it, titanium. It, yeah, titanium. And if it comes down to it, I can always um. Okay, I came from there, so which means I want to go down that way. The pipe also leads, oh. is a good way of leading yourself back the way you yeah, can. Wait, did I scan this one already? Because if I scan that one, that I've only scanned two of the three that I found in here. Because I found like three, right? Or no, I guess they're. I guess not all of them are scannable, or something. Yeah. Oh, I've got a communications. Up. Oh, there's number three. With this, I can make the laser cutter. Or did it not give it to me for some reason? Find out. Oh, shut up. You're not actually in here. Battery charger completed. I'll need to make a computer a computer chip necessary for it, but other than that, it will be pretty easy, and I'll be able to actually charge my batteries, which is really nice. Floodlight. It, nah, it, it's a nice multi-purpose room. Uh, don't have enough of the mobile vehicle yet. Laser cutter. Did it give you a laser cutter? I have the yes, it gave me the laser cutter. I still don't have the Excellent. diamond for it. I still don't have the diamond for it though. Which is yeah, where do you get diamonds? Even farther away. Uh, that's that's the end of my pipe. That's the end of my pipe. Oh fuck. Okay, let's just hope that I don't kill myself in going through this. Uh, you need more pipe. I need do need more pipe. Next time I know. Uh, What's the likelihood of something breaking your pipes while you go get more pipe? Honestly, if it, nothing's broken it yet, probably not very much. Okay. Then you could probably just go get more pipe and do this safely. You better not risk it man, and lose everything. Uh, it's down here. That is a dead end. Okay. I went too far. I'll start. Okay, so I'm going to keep going, but. I will, but it's not too far because, ooh, prawn suit fragment. What's that, dude? That's the exosuit. 
Oh, it's mecha party time. You can now punch uh, seed, seed dragoons in the face and kill them. It's, it's literally... Oh, prawn suit fragment. Stupidly hard, though. That's a stupidly hard hit. Why is it not letting me scan that? Um, I think you should fragment. work towards it, because if you have one, then sea satans become less of a problem. Oh, no, and I totally get about that one. And forget about the crawlers and biters being a problem. Well, yeah, that's just... They're just... Wait a minute. Desk. Yeah, new blueprint. Okay, I'm That's gonna not a good time. Okay, now I'm gonna start heading I'm gonna head back for air now. Well I still um Well I still have plenty of air because I I really don't wanna die here. Have they added the ability to sit in your chairs? Yes, you can actually sit in your chairs. I don't think you can do anything, but you can sit in your chairs. That that's good. Okay, back into this bay because there are still more fragments to pick. Actually, there's more. There's another section of the bay, which oh, the vehicle bay fragment. That's I think enough. New blueprint. That's Acquired. another mobile vehicle bay fragment. Another battery charge. Why do they have so many? I really have to wonder why they put in so many extra on some of these. And others, you're like scrambling around to find that one extra bit. Some of them you're scrambling around to find that one extra bit, but then you have others where it's like, oh, I found like 50 of them. I guess it's just the luck of the draw. Maybe. I am I get still annoyed with the Pulse Cannon Fragment, and I can't get it. Pulse Cannons are used for what? Uh, Propulsion Cannon. You can pick up stuff and throw them around. Oh, it's not a weapon. It sort of is. I mean, you can pick up things and, throw, and shoot them at people, and it's not just like... It's not like pick them up and gently toss it at someone. No, it's like actually throwing it at high speed. So could you throw a piece of quartz at a uh, sea, sea devil and kill it? With enough of them? Yes. Not to say it would be easy by any means, but... Mm. But it's doable. It is doable. It would probably be better to throw acid mushrooms at it, though. Acid mushrooms. Yes, I've been using those for battery making. Um, I haven't actually... Ah, yeah, they're super toxic mushrooms. I haven't actually cut any of them open yet. When you cut them open, they basically explode into a minor minor cloud of acid. That would hurt. Yes, it does, which is why you, gener which is why you generally don't do it unless you're like actually looking to plant them. That would really suck if that hit you in the face. Well, usually the way you break them open is by hitting them with a knife. So you're so it's right in your face anyway. Why would you do that? I know why you would do it, but like why would you do that? Get the spores. Uh, ooh, inventory's full. I'm not abandoning the pipe. Well, actually, now that I think about it, abandoning the pipe is actually better because of how cheap the pipe is compared to the titanium. Three titanium makes five pipe. Mm, good point. I have to pick up the pipe. Which means I'll drop two more pipe, pick up this pipe, and then pick up the pump. Bam! Okay. We're gonna head Is there back. a way to upgrade your inventory? What? Is there a way to upgrade your inventory? No. But um, vehicles that you get can actually have their own inventories. And you get the freaking Cyclops. Oh my gosh, that thing has several walkers in built in. Plus, you can build more. Mm. Okay, but yeah, we found quite a, quite a haul of technology this time around. Um, we found we found the the blueprint for the laser cutter, which is going to be very necessary. We just need to figure out how to get a freaking diamond. Um, we found we found the mobile we found the the blueprint for the um. Battery charger, the mobile vehicle bay, and the sea moth, which is amazing, because that means we, actually, we can actually make the sea moth before we go to the freaking Aurora. We can actually use the, we can actually make, we can actually make a vehicle before we go to the Aurora, which would make it a lot more like likely to be survivable. And also, the sea moth would mean that we can go hunting for more materials without having to worry so about um, some of the more deadly creatures around, Welcome like mesmers, pressures, sand sharks, all that fun stuff. Anyway, um, let's go 
the fighters. There, I've got some disinfected water, which is very nice. I'm going to store that because that is a little bit better than if I... Um, I wanted to do something before I before we ended it, but I can't... I already can't remember. Hmm. Um, just checking... Uh, still suit. Oh, yeah. Still suit. Reclaims moisture from the body. That's nice. Um, oh, right. We, I wanted to make the, um, battery, the, mobile, the battery charger. Because the battery charger is going to be a very big deal. You can do this. Bitch, to build it, I am going to need a computer chip, copper wire, and a glass. Not too, not too difficult. So yeah, the episode's gonna be a little bit long because I'm gonna be doing because I definitely want to get those before the episode's done. Get a computer chip. I actually have most of what I need for the computer chip, right there. Um, whoops, wrong way. Uh, so I just need a copper wire. So I need two copper wire, um, which means I'm gonna need like four copper. Yeah, and then I need the um. Doo -doo 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 find all the various blueprints um then i'm just gonna need a glass which is gonna require me to grab just minimum of one quartz not too bad not too bad especially because i know i know where we there will i know there's that one giant coral tube if i can figure out where it is i just need to put a beacon by it that's usually my that's like my best mining spot um my best mining spot around here especially especially when you um reload the game it respawns what's in it or it might even respawn other times as well Oops. um but yeah basically just finding the um just finding the four copper finding the one quartz and that's it then we have enough to make the um the battery charger which is going which is very necessary for quartz, for keeping our tools useful Without, you know, having an inventory or whatnot full of dead batteries. Uh, John, you got a lot of static on your end, and I don't want that covering the back. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, just figure that out. That happens when I don't talk. Yeah. Okay, titanium. Dang it. More titanium. Mm -hmm. uh, this is copper! More titanium. How you find? Whoa! In this game Why are you fun. here? What? You are. Oh See crap! Some... There's multiple of them. There's multiple crash fish. What's a crab fish? Ah! Okay. What the crap? That 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 graphic. That was a graphic problem. Okay. Anyway. Let's What's see. a crab fish? Crash fish. It oh it. The pl it opens up from a plant. Oh, the exploding fish. Yes, the exploding fish. I didn't think that was. I didn't think there was one down here. Okay, there's another copper, the titanium. Is there a way to kill them? Uh, I could break their things, but breaking their things means I can't get the sulfur from them later on, which you probably see. Which you probably saw me pick up one. So the yeah, sulfur is very cool. important. So you want to keep them around, even though they're dangerous. Yeah, I mean they're not super dangerous. You just have to get far enough away from them when they blow up. I guess this was the, uh, not the tunnel I was thinking of, because I definitely because that tunnel definitely didn't have um, a minute. I'm getting low on oxygen. I need to head to the surface. Excuse me. Oxygen. Okay. Let's just grab the quartz. See about grabbing some fishies. Hmm. Come on! Thank you. And my inventory's full. Okay, we'll just call it good then. I'll just cook one up and eat. I'll just cook more up later. Um, but yeah, that should be enough. We'll make the battery charger and we'll call the episode after that. Um, because once we have the battery charger, then we can make it just a few batteries, fill it, make sure it's filled up, and then we can, then we're able to swap out various, um, various batteries we've currently got. And it and it will be fantastic, and it will be very, very, very fantastic, because then I don't have to worry about running out of stuff. Do I, actually, I think I still have a dead battery. Whoops. 
I hate that little bug. I think I have got a dead battery in my inventory. Well. Uh -oh. Yeah, I've had a dead battery in my inventory for a little while. Oops. That just means you can charge it up. Yep. Um. So real quick, let's just cook up some the, boom the boomerang fish I caught. Uh. And turn that into water. down make a pair of copper wire grab the um, coral samples and the gold um, computer chip I need glass And then I should have actually have enough. Yes, there we go. Uh, uh, Bam! And let's stick that empty battery in there. So yeah, I'll probably need to um, put on another solar panel. Keep my. Um, my to keep my base from running out of power at some point, but it won't. But it's not going to be that big of a problem anymore because. But I won't have to deal with. Um, yeah, I don't have to deal. But now my um, my tools running out of power is no longer a problem. Making batteries is no longer about making sure my, I, I whether or not I actually have power for my tools. It's about how much extra backup I have. So yeah. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the episode. Um, next time we will go, we will see about starting making the mobile vehicle bay, getting the sea moth, and then go hunting for that diamond, so that we can get the laser cutter and go and explore the aurora. Probably Yay, die. aurora! We're all going to die horribly. It'll probably take a few episodes, but uh, we'll get there eventually. You know, sometime, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> and we, with that, see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.